Alright, I'd get up a little closer for this video since, uh, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really, you don't have to see anything else but the actual aquarium, so give you a chance to get a little closer. Um, this video is about temperature, and, uh, I know there's a million videos about all this stuff, but I really feel like it's my duty to talk about the things I've really hit some road bumps with, and, uh, I don't know, I just, to me, I came at this as a beginner, again, I was a, you know, as a kid, we had an aquarium at my home, but we also had a creek down the way on the road, and, uh, you know, we got natural creek water, and we had natural fish, so, you know, they weren't nearly as hard to keep as tropical fish, and, you know, I think, actually, right about the time I attempted to keep tropical fish was about when I gave it up, and, few other things, but uh, later in life I kind of always held that dear to me, how much I did enjoy having fish, and so I tried to do it, and I, you know, what you see I could say is basic, and you know, I tried to make it so nice because I don't want to present these videos as if, you know, I'm not capable of doing what some of the uh, nicer tanks are and stuff, it's pretty basic though still, platies and angelfish, and you know, most of these plants you can get for two or three dollars as long as your store's uh, got a good connection. And there is a ton of stuff along the way that is huge challenges and barriers. And given the average person, I can't even imagine the average person attempting this at all. And I mean, take a working Joe, you know, he's got fifty dollars to spend before his uh, wife gets mad at him, or, or just the opposite, you know, a woman, a woman wants to do it, but the guy's the one working his tail off and you know and suddenly that fifty dollars just went down the drain and now the fish died a week later or something I mean just think about how bad that would be so I mean you know I'm coming from the end where I am not a millionaire I do not have you know thousands of dollars to throw at anything and and the best of people to help me while I'm doing it you know so that said uh, this video is about temperature so there's a lot of simple things you can blow off when you first start, and one is temperature. You know, you think, oh, the, you know, the room is never much colder than 75, 80 degrees, or, you know, you think that, you know, it can't be that big of a deal, and then they tell you that, well, the cure to a lot of these diseases are, uh, you know, too cold of a tank, and then you think to yourself, well, wouldn't it be opposite, you know, wouldn't you think all these bacteria and viruses and things, wouldn't you think they'd want to hang out in the warmer water? You know, you'd think the warmer water is what would go stale on you faster, and you just kind of, you know, your own head gets spinning, like, you know, and one thing, it's dawned on me that a lot of the problems that I thought I was having from other things like filtration, oxygen, uh, you know, uh, parts per million in the water, all those things, I am starting to learn that the reason the fish were having the problems was the temperature. And uh, first thing, I, you know, I did get a, a heater. I, after a while of it being recommended, I got the heater, but I got one that was rated for the tank at the time and it was not an adjustable thermostat it was just this will maintain this temperature uh, as long as it's this many gallons and that was a really dumb uh, thing to do because I instantly got a bigger tank and then so I was stuck with this twenty dollar little National Geographic heater that was only rated for like a six gallon or something and so or no, it was even just a two gallon or something. I don't know. And, you know, I like the National Geographic stuff. I think it looks good and a lot of the products have worked. But I just, you know, I should have gotten something a little bigger that could have been applicable to, you know, later on stuff. Um, and what's interesting, though, is with those thermostats, they kind of, they say they kick on and keep it at a certain temperature. And um, it seemed like with even with that little one, the water was always like really warm and it was like, oh, that's weird, you know, water seems, you know, abnormally warm and I was keeping a kind of a hood on it. So, you know, I'm starting to wonder if at that point even the water was actually maybe too hot. And, uh, and then, so yes, I got a bigger heater. Um, 
And with that came unsteadiness because in the adjustable heaters, they're really not a... This is what I think anyway. They're not so much a thermostat inside them as it is you're just kind of turning it to a particular setting that will keep it close to about what that is. And I just can't imagine that there's a really truly sophisticated digital timer or something in there that really can measure the temperature. I think it's a very kind of like it'll kind of get it here if you turn it on this area. You turn it way down, it's going to not heat it as much, you know. So anyway, uh, and also that depends on the quality of the heater as well. So uh, one thing is, and then this is another thing, I was told by the aquarium shop guys, like you're going to want an internal thermostat, you know. And I buy the one for the side of the tank. I'm like, well, I don't want to look at the little thermostat inside, you know. It just kind of looks, you know, kind of, I want to keep as minimal junk that's in there as down as possible. I'm not going to show it to you now because I don't want to move the camera around, but um, you know, I ended up getting the one for the side of the tank and he even said it. He said, that's not, it'll never give you an accurate reading because it's the outside of the glass. And I'm just thinking, well, that's, that's nonsense. You're insane. You know, like, I'm gonna, like, come on, you know, it's going to give you the ballpark figure, you know, and stuff. But no, he really was right. I found out, I found that that side, uh, Thermometer was difficult to read. I actually had to even take a flashlight and point it on it to where I could actually see it because I had it in a kind of a low lit area and so it was difficult to see. It's difficult to see from the side and that's beside the point. I mean, how hard it was to see was the least of the worries. But, you know, what it was is I realized that out of all the things I was doing to make this tank work, I was highly neglecting the specific science of temperature and you know those heaters like I said you don't know really where they are they could say they have like one for instance I took it back recently it's a Tetra it claimed it was 200 watts and good for 60 gallons and the thing was barely keeping it up to 75 and the only reason I switched it out was because it was real small so I thought maybe that would look a little better you know and and certainly it was not up to par at all and took it back and got myself a pretty good large sized uh you know heater national geographic and i really apologize to talk so much but i do want to get this inform uh you know to be informative i want to get the information to you and you know what i'm getting at is is that believe it or not Lighting, CO2, filtration, substrate, water quality, water minerals, you know, temperature, unfortunately, you can put that on that list. You can put that on that list maybe at the very top now that I'm seeing this. Um, all the diseases, ick, finrot, uh, you know, uh, not enough oxygen in the water, that's too hot, you know, uh, you know, too cold, they're just frigid. You know, it's amazing to see that when you let the tank get down to 69, 68, man, those tropical fish start freaking. I mean, they, they just freeze. I mean, you you see them just, they're not moving. They're they're just, they, 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 they don't even know what's hitting them. I mean, it's amazing. And so, you know, you would just think that a fish is cold-blooded and it could do this, but no, really, these tropical fish, they... They need it very steady. I mean, in the climates they're at, it gets down kind of chilly at night, but those bodies of water maintain temperature. I mean, you know, they probably wouldn't drop five degrees during the course of an evening. So anyway, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to reiterate the fact that it's important. And, you know, it's especially important for beginners. You know, that that's another problem is everybody gets into this, myself included, thinking, I'll get to the good stuff later, you know. I'll worry about the, the you know, the thermometer later. I'll worry about the getting the good heater later, you know. I'll use this heater until it does or, to, you know, till I can make do. And, and then you buy the lesser heater and then you still need the better heater. And so the, now you've spent double. And that's another thing I've really, really fought with on these aquariums is just you get the lesser stuff. And now you're spending double because you finally got the what you really wanted. And it sounds kind of insane, you know, because everybody knows buying a new car isn't a good idea always. But this is not a new car. This is, this is buying 
what you need. And, and, and there's a reason why these companies make this stuff. And, and I'm really a very, you know, promote DIY, but I'll say that, you know, I haven't even made the video on CO2, but, you know, DIY can also be no good either. I mean, don't pour a pan of boiling water in your tank to heat it up. I mean, that is like, I heard that, like, you know, Kieran Finrot, you know, pour a boiling pan of water. No way, you know, I mean, just stuff like that. So... You know, temperature is extremely important, and I am learning it. And, you know, I, I don't, sorry, I don't have any fancy pop-ups or music right now or anything, and I'm a musician too, but, you know, I just try to get across to you guys. I mean, I'll say it now, what, ten times now. I mean, you know, it's it's important. And and, and I will throw this out there, that yes, the, the plants don't want, much hotter than 80. I mean, so if you are going to crank it to the 85, you know, only do it very sparingly. And I would only do it if your fish truly had a disease that you could not fix with a little bit of salt or, you know, a little bit of tea tree oil, stuff like that. And I, I really haven't made that video either. I mean, there's a lot of other things you can do, but I would say, you know, if you can keep your temperature at 79 degrees, at all times without fail winter summer that is maybe single-handedly the most important thing you could possibly do for your fish and I'm not gonna get into juggling around the other ones but really it's funny because it's something I have just now started to truly realize and now that I'm looking back at a lot of symptoms I've had with the fish I mean, I'm starting to think, wow, is that all that was? You know, certain different times where it was, you know, the water was too warm and they weren't getting enough oxygen, you know. Uh, you know, you do a water change and you throw in water that's too cold. I mean, you know, it's just, it, it's just what it is. But, uh, you know, same with, you know, diseases and stuff too. So, anyway, you know, yeah, 79. You know, I'm going to leave it at this. I I'm really try to not make these videos too long, but I cannot stress enough that if you're getting into aquariums that uh you know temperature let's just say this if it's not the most important thing it's the most neglected thing and it's it just it'll make a world of difference uh basics you know it's you know aquarium basics that's what this is and a temperature is is a basic and it's easy to have people just tell you that it's you know not as big a deal but actually it's a big deal it's like it's like a big deal. Temperature is like, let's say that it's like at least 50% of a big picture. I mean, so, you know, that's it. That's it. Uh, aquarium basics. Um, yeah, get yourself a good internal, uh, good internal thermostat. Internal. Nothing on the side of the tank. You know, they even make one that apparently it has like a imitation mercury in it. So you don't even have to get the mercury. And uh, get yourself a good heater from a solid brand and make sure you got it kind of turned sideways so it's, you know, temperature element and stuff doesn't get overheated and eventually burn out on you. You know, I, I found that turning the, a lot of times the tank isn't even deep enough to keep them straight down, but I find that keeping them at a good angle allows most of that heat to get up into the tank versus it going straight up its tube and then right up into all the electronic facility that is attempting to measure the uh, temperature of the tank but instead it's so hot from the, the heat going straight up into it that I would have a hard time saying that would be good for it as far as temperature so yeah keep the you keep the um, god sorry not the thermostat but you know keep keep the heater element at a side and and I'm here to tell you right now that those little plastic things you buy that keep the temperature at a perfect, you know, perfect area or something is not a good way to go. I mean, you know, God, I would say that if you were in maybe a, you know, guy who does tanks for a doctor's office and he's not there for two weeks or something, maybe that would be a good idea because, you know, there would be less of a chance of something going haywire. But ultimately, you know, if you're there every day, and you can take a look at that thermometer and, you know, get yourself an open, large glass tube. I've learned that it is it is the way to go. And even a 100-watt glass tube, real aquarium uh, heater, 
will do far better than the 200 watt little thing from Walmart that claims it'll keep a steady temperature that, you know, it's only, you know, size of your hand or something. And it looks appealing because it's so small, but no, there, there's a reason those ones are so big. They want to cover the surface area and stuff. So, all right, I'm in it here. 15 minutes, uh, temperature.